அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்ட் இன்ஜினியரிங் நம்ம இந்த வீடியோவில் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் வால்யூம் ப்ராசஸ் பற்றி பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஓகே ஸோ என் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் வால்யூம் ப்ராசஸ் வால்யூம் இஸ் செட் டு பி கான்ஸ்டன்ட் தட் இஸ் வி ஒன் ஈக்குவல் டு வி டூ லெட் எஸ் கன்சிடர் எ தெர்மோடைமிக் ப்ராசஸ் விச் டேக்ஸ் பிளேஸ் பிட்வீன் டூ ஸ்டேட்ஸ் தட் இஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஸ்டேட் ஒன் டு ஸ்டேட் டூ so the volume at the initial state and the volume at the final state both are equal that is called as constant volume process initial state la enna volume irukko and final state la enna volume irukko in the rendu volume equal there is no change in volume so such a process is called as constant volume process and the another name for constant volume process is isochoric process okay let me take a uh, closed system now the closed system at the ground or a cylinder adukulla or a piston so there is gas some gas is inside the closed system okay now i am adding heat to the system i am supplying heat to the system so when i am supplying heat now heat supply panum bodhe the gas inside the cylinder or gas in the system what happens to it adu enna nadakku the temperature will rise and the pressure will rise but the volume will not change because it is said to be constant volume process let us say In this end end of the piston is rigidly fixed to some support okay in the piston oda in the end vande or support oda nalla strong ah fix aayidhu so it is immovable in the piston vandu move aaga mudiyadhu appo na heat supply pannum bodhe in the gas oda temperature rise aagum the temperature rises from t1 to t2 and pressure will rise from p1 to p2 but the volume v1 will be equal to v2 there will not be any change in volume volume la endha oru maatramum irukadu so idhana pv diagram nam varaiyum bodhu pathina so volume is taken in x direction and pressure is taken in y direction this is volume and this is pressure okay this is the initial state 1 and this is the final state 2 the pressure at initial state is p1 pressure at final state is p2 and the volume at the initial state and final state v1 equal to v2 okay so the temperature at initial state is t1 and temperature at final state is t2 okay so this is the pv diagram for the given constant volume process okay so now we pena paakum first one what is the relationship between pressure volume and temperature pvt relationship so we know the general gas equation p1 v1 by t1 equal to p2 v2 by t2 so here in this process in the particular process la v1 and v2 are equal because it is constant volume process so we can cancel v1 v2 because both are equal okay so then we get p1 by 
T1 equal to P2 by T2. So this is the relationship between pressure, volume and temperature for constant volume process. Okay. Next, the second thing we have to consider is work done. So what is the work done during this constant volume process? So we know that mathematical expression for sorry <coughs> mathematical ex expression for uh, work done P into dV. So when there is change in volume, then there will be work done. Volume of matter is not the work done and here, there is no change in volume. Volume is not the same. So, work done during the process will be zero. Work done during the process 1 to 2 will be zero. That is why we have to do this. Piston is not the same. That is why we have to do this. Some amount of work is the same. But piston is not the same. As there is no change in volume. Volume of matter is not the same. Piston is not the same. So, work done will be zero. That is why we have to do this. Work done during a constant volume process will be zero. Okay. Move on to the minor part. The third thing. Change in internal energy. So, what is the general formula for change in internal energy? Change in internal energy equal to Mc into change in temperature, right? So here the change in temperature will be T2 minus T1, okay? And therefore change in internal energy du equal to Mcv into T2 minus T1. Whenever you consider the change in internal energy, so in the place of C, you have to take Cv, specific heat at constant volume. So, whatever process I am doing, whether it may be a constant pressure process, or it may be a adiabatic process, or it may be a isothermal process, whatever process I am doing, this is the general equation. This is the common equation for all the process for change in internal energy. Change in internal energy is the same for all the process for now and the same now. This is the same for now. Keep this in your mind. Okay. So fourth, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? Heat transfer. So, we have to supply some amount of heat supply. And the net heat transfer, we know that net heat transfer, delta Q equal to change in internal energy plus work done during the process. So, here, work done during the process is zero. So, therefore, since work done equal to zero, we know that we can write net heat transfer equal to change in internal energy or Q equal to MCV into T2 minus T1. Okay. So it means that the total heat supplied to, to the uh, thermodynamic system is Utilize to increase the internal energy. Now we supply the most heat to the other. Internal energy increase from the other one to find part of the part of the other. We can see the equation of the transit law. Okay. I think we are very clear about heat transfer. Next we are going to see about change in enthalpy. Okay, so what do we need to do? 
change in enthalpy. Change in enthalpy can uh, formula in a Adina Adina Vata no change in enthalpy del dh equal to change in internal energy plus d pv product of pressure and volume abdin paathom okay inga now h2 minus h1 change in enthalpy equal to instead of change in internal energy we can write m into cv into t2 minus t1 right plus we have to integrate this applying the limits 1 to 2 d p so if the integrate panna enna aagum appdin paarenga let me write mcv into t2 minus t1 plus if i integrate panna bodhu we get p2 v2 minus P1, V1. Right? Okay, now I am writing this equation here. H2 minus H1 equal to M into CV into T2 minus T1 plus instead of P2, V2, I can write mr t2 minus instead of p1 v1 i can write mr t1 okay so from this mcv into t2 minus t1 so in the rendered term we have mr as common mr na value eduthara Remaining T2 minus T1. So in the render time in the render time in M T2 minus T1. Either end of the common arrow. So in the render in the render M T2 minus T1. So in the render in the common arrow, remaining in the CV plus R. So, instead of CV plus R, I can write since CV plus R equal to CP. I can write M CP into T2 minus T1. So, change in enthalpy is equal to MCP into T2 minus T1. I think. So, in the CV plus R in the name CP, I will put it R in the gas constant. We know that R equal to CP minus CV. So, in the CV in the name CP equal to R plus CV. So, on the R plus CV, we will learn our CP substitute for it. Okay. So, this is the uh, equation for change in enthalpy for a constant volume process. Okay. Next, we will see about. Where is this? Okay, next we will see about change in entropy. We know that change in entropy ds equal to dq by t. So instead of dq, we can write mcv into dt. mcv into dt okay equal to m 
cv into dt divided by t if you integrate this m cv into integrate by minus dt by t so integrating dt by t we get m cv into log t2 by t1 okay so in order to make this as base 10 base 10 maatudrala 2.3 ala multiply panniralam 2.3 mcv log t2 by t1 so this is the relationship for uh, change in entropy of the system okay so instead of t2 by t1 we can write since uh, now let me explain p1 by p1 equal to p2 by t2 okay so therefore t2 by t1 equal to p2 by p1 so instead of t2 by t1 we can substitute p2 by p1 here namar t2 by t1 badala p2 by p1 we just substitute panikla so we get the same result same answer okay i think we are very clear about the uh, constant volume process thermodynamic process and in our next video we will see about constant pressure process thank you so much for watching this video in the video ungalku pidichirundha kandippa ungaloda friends kitta share pannunga comment pannunga like pannunga and marakama 100% engineering youtube channel la subscribe pannunga